Hey, I'm Vicky and these are my tips for organising your child's desk. So my daughter has had a desk in her room for quite some time now, but as you can see from these shots here of what it was like, it had fallen into a lot of dis disarray basically. It was chaos and not even organised chaos, just chaos. I felt that when it came to tidy it up because the drawer was overwhelmed, um, things were just not looking tidy when we put them away, there wasn't space for all the pens and pencils, even though we had these really handy drawer divider pots, not there wasn't enough space in those pots, so all the pens and pencils were just overflowing. So something really needed to be sorted out and the problem was that the desk um, did not have any more capacity for any more stuff, you know, so I had considered getting in trays to go on on the desk so that she could, you know, have blank sheets of paper and sheets of paper that she'd already done colouring in, or I considered getting more pen pots to put on the side of the desk, but the thing with the desk was that the desk was kind of at capacity, and what I really wanted was for her to main, like maintain space on the desk, basically, so she could do all of the bits of crafting and bits of writing that she likes to do there, because she loves to sit at the desk and just let her imagination run wild which is fantastic but she's just got so many sort of notebooks different craft books different craft kits pens pencils stamps all that kind of stuff um that the desk was just overwhelmed so considered putting something on the desk and then decided no actually what i really want to do here is clear the space on the desk so then i think once you've decided okay there's nothing more I can do on the actual piece of furniture. It's then time to think, right, okay, what do I need to sort this out? So I thought about, you know, maybe a drawer unit, but the thing is her room is already kind of at capacity in terms of furniture. I didn't just want to throw um, something else that takes up more floor space into this room. So then I thought, okay, we need to look up then, because once you've kind of exhausted all possibilities on the ground level, it's time to look up and see what storage solutions you can add above the problem. So this is where we decided on the IKEA Trofast unit, which you can see here. Super cheap to buy and easy to put together and it proved to be really easy to hang as well. I think we managed to put it together and hang it in well under an hour. Um, we thought about shelves, but I suppose my concern with shelves was because this space is right in the middle of a wall. I was concerned about things falling off the shelves and I did have a look at shelves with ends on, but this just seemed like a much better solution because the baskets come out, she can pull a basket out, root through all the stuff that she needs, do whatever she wants to do at the desk. And then when she's done, she just puts everything back in and puts it up there. So I felt the basket solution just made more sense in terms of keeping everything organised, keeping everything easy to access, she's tall enough to reach all of these things quite easily. So once we've got that and installed that, it was then just a case of categorising everything, sorting everything out and making sure that everything had a place. Because my biggest organisation tip, the thing that I come back to all the time when I need to reorganise something, clean something up, tidy something up, is to categorise things, get everything out and put them into categories. So I emptied out the drawer of the desk, I sorted out all the pens and pencils into different categories. So I had like unusual pens, you know, quirky pens that have funky pen tops on them. I had biro type pens, I had writing pens, I had colouring pens, and then I had colouring pencils. Um, all the other, other little bits of stationery that go with that stuff, everything was organised into categories first and foremost. And then I also did the same with all her notebooks. So I got A4 notebooks, A5 notebooks, separated them all out. Then I did the same with sort of crafty things that she has on this desk. So she has a couple of um, sort of craft kits that go on here. So put those into categories. Once I'd done that, I then thought about, right, what does she need within touching distance? And this is something I do everywhere in the house. So in the kitchen, in the bathroom, everywhere. Everything that you need within touching distance has to go in the most convenient place. So in the drawer, she has got all of the stuff that she uses on the most regular basis. So like the glue stick, the stapler, the eraser. And then I've done like put all the spares, all the stuff that, that is excess for that up above. So extra erasers and there are extra pencil sharpeners in there as well. There are some pens and coloring, coloring pens and pencils in her drawer and some staplers as well. But then all excess supplies have gone up here. And what it means is the drawer is just so much easier. She can now open that drawer, look in there 
and just find exactly what it is that she needs. And just to add guys, all of the pots that you can see here that are dividing up the pens, pencils, and sort of more, well, these are coloring pens, these are sort of biro-y type writing and finer pens as well. Those pots are just from Amazon, super cheap to buy, easy to find on there. I'll link them in the description below. You get them in a set and so I've got some of them here and the others are in my other daughter's bedroom but it just makes organising the drawer a lot easier and then when we come to tidy up it's much easier um, to sort of put things where they belong and it means that when she comes to do anything everything is super duper easy to find in there. Then in this sort of little area above the drawer here which is great for notepad notepads I've only put A4 notepads in there because A4 unfortunately does not fit in these particular trofast baskets that's fine however A5 does so all of her A5 notebooks whoops all of her A5 notebooks um which as you can see it's quite a lot here um they've all gone in there so when she is ready to write a journal entry or whatever it is that she likes to do in her notebooks those are all up there then on the actual desk itself, I've put, again, stuff that she wants in touch distance. So these are the colouring pens that she used the most. There's a pair of craft scissors there. This is a pot that she just decorated herself. It's literally just a can. It's just an old can. She's covered it in paper and then she's added stickers and um, she's wrapped it in paper just to um, give it a bit of colour and cover up the old um, label. And then she's put some trim around there as well. So that's quite fun. She's got that there. She's also got her roll of sellotape, which she uses a lot. She's got this LOL Surprise art kit, which she uses all the time as well. That's within easy access. Um, she used it, this is one of her fidget things, which I think she's placed on here. She's got her microscope there as well. The slides for the microscope are underneath the desk in a box. Sometimes she uses that. She doesn't use it maybe as much as we perhaps would have hoped that she does but she occasionally uses it so it's good to have that within reach and then we've also added a lamp because she didn't have any light on here so we've added this ikea lamp that only cost five pounds which she, we thought was an absolute bargain five pounds for that didn't include the bulb of course just to add but that just means that when she's doing work at the desk she can see because her bedroom lamp is on the other side of the room and when it's evening and she's doing a few bits and bobs you don't necessarily want the big overhead light on so yeah we've just added that little lamp as well as a nice cheap addition to make sure that she's got some light on the desk and just to add while i was sorting out the desk i did give it a good clean because as you can see there were so many pen marks and bits of sellotape on there i got some elbow grease to remove that Another good thing um, to do with elbow grease as well, just to add, is when you get these annoying labels, like what came on the Trofast unit, that just don't come off, no matter what you do, um, to try and scrape them off with your finger, I spray a little bit of elbow grease on, leave it for about 30 seconds or so, and then you can literally just peel it off. You can either scrub it off with a cleaning cloth, or you can just pick it off with your fingernail. Super easy, it just comes off straight away. So any annoying labels, Elbow grease will do the job with that, and then elbow grease will also do the job with removing pen marks from the top of the desk. Because it's quite a strong cleaning product, I do recommend you just use it on a tiny corner of whatever you're cleaning, just in case it's gonna discolor the surface because it is quite tough stuff. And then the finishing touches with organising the desk, we're just putting a few decorative things on top of the Trofast, which my daughter's already added to a few bits and bobs, like she's got a lol surprise up there, um, she's got a little lock tin that she's got some of her sort of treasured keepsakes in, and a couple of figures that she likes to keep as well. She's got a little plant, a little cactus up there too. So that's something that we can sort of change over over time, whatever sort of things that she wants on display. What it's given us is a shelf for displaying stuff that she quite likes, so toys that she really likes, ornaments she really likes that kind of thing but then we've got the practical storage here as well so it's been a really really simple um sort out of the desk but it's been so effective just in terms of being able to clear all of this space now so that she's got proper space to work when she comes to sit down here and do whatever it is she wants to do okay guys i really hope that you enjoyed this kids desk reorganization video thank you so much for watching and i will see you on the next upload bye